Hello guys, welcome to your math exam coach. Today we have an interesting tutorial. Uh, we're going to uh, look at a right angle triangle and we are going to try to solve for x uh, and also express uh, an equation in the form of x and also find the, uh, the hypotenuse. Uh, before we, we jump into the question, uh, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Uh, when you do that, it allows more people to, to get this content. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, uh, welcome back and make sure you also like and also make sure you spread the word so that more people can, can get this information. Okay, so let's jump into it right away. Uh, so we're given a right angle triangle here. And we are given, we know that this angle is 90 degrees. And so, so we know this is our hypotenuse. Uh, if we're looking at this from this angle, this will become our opposite side. And this becomes our adjacent side. Then in this case, we know we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. What does the Pythagorean theorem tell us? It tells us that the hypotenuse squared is equals to opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. Right. So, so we can jump into A using that formula. So we want to form an equation in X. Uh, so we know that the hypotenuse squared is equals to opposite side squared plus the adjacent squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Right, so we have the hypotenuse here, which is X plus 3. So squared is equals to the opposite here, which is x minus 2 squared uh, plus 9 squared. All right, so let's go to the next uh, page here. So I'm just going to rewrite that x, x plus 3 squared is equals to 9 squared plus x minus 2 squared. So now what's left for us to do is to, we just need to expand this and expand this. And then we can, uh, we can simplify it. Right. So, so this is the same as x plus 3, x plus 3 is equals to 9 squared plus x minus 2, x minus 2. Alright, so now we can expand, let's expand the, um, the left hand side. So we're going to get x squared plus 3x plus 3x uh, plus 9 is equals to 9 squared is going to be 81. Now plus we're going to expand this to x squared minus 4x no, not minus 4x uh, minus 2x minus 2x minus 2x plus 4. So this simplifies to x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equals to 81 plus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Uh, therefore, we can now simplify this to x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equals to 85 plus x squared minus 4x, which gives us, um, so we have 85 minus 9, and on the left hand side now we have x squared minus x squared plus 6x plus 4x. So that leaves us 10x 
equals to 85 minus 9, which is uh, 70, uh, 76. Right, so what does that mean? So x is equals to 10. So x equals to 76 divided by 10. Divided by 10, which is equals to 7.6. Right, so if we go back here, so we formed an equation in terms of x, which is this equation. So that's our a. Then we solved the equation b. So we got x equals to 7.6. Uh, and then the last part, which is c, wants us to write down the length of the hypotenuse. And so c, we know that the hypotenuse is equals to x plus 3 but we know that x is equals to 7.6 because we solved for that therefore hypotenuse is equals to 7.6 plus 3 which is equals to 10.6 uh, centimeters right so we have uh, solved for uh, for all the three questions, we've expressed it as an equation in x uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. Then we expanded it to solve it. We got x equals to 7.6. And then we substituted 7.6 to get the length of the hypotenuse to be 10.6 uh, centimeters. All right, so that's the end of our tutorial. Uh, if you like the content, please make sure to like. Make sure to, to subscribe as well to the channel. Uh, so that more people can get uh, this information as well. But for now, until next time, goodbye.